Hi, welcome to our first tutorial for First Impressions Molds. My name is Kelly. Today we will be demonstrating how to make edible Easter baskets, which are a great gift for family and friends. We have our finished products here today, an Easter basket filled with edible Easter grass and some store-bought candy, as well as molds to show how to make some common candies. So we have our First Impressions Molds mini Easter set, the Easter eggs molds, and the rope set, which is used to construct the basket. We also have larger molds in the Easter theme. We have cookie cutters in order to choose the shape for your basket. We're using the Wilton gum paste and multiple chocolate. We have gel food coloring in order to color the gum paste and crystal colors to decorate the final product. The links to all these products will be listed below in the description, as well as instructions for you to follow along. So let's get started. Today we'll be using the Wilton Gum Paste, which is a pre-made gum paste that comes out of the package ready to use. You'll just need to knead through it, make it pliable to fit in your molds. You'll need to choose your food color. We chose chocolate brown for our prep today. Some vegetable shortening, a cutting tool, the rope mold, Pair of plastic gloves and a ziploc bag to keep your gum paste in to prevent it from drying out. So first you'll want to put a little bit of vegetable shortening on your gloves, work that into the gum paste and add a drop or two of your color. You'll fold it inside and just keep working at it until you get the desired color that you want. You can always add more. You'll see the colors start to show through. So you'll keep kneading until it becomes a solid color. As you can see, we have already mixed ours and then you can store your gum paste in the Ziploc bag. So here is what it looks like after it's been worked through. Your color's completely worked through and you're ready to put it into your mold. Take a portion of the gum paste and roll it narrow. So you'll fill the rope mold. Be sure to work it so that there's no cracks. Stretch it out long. And press it firmly down into the mold. You want to make sure that you get all of the texture of the rope mold. So once you've pressed all of your gum paste into the mold, you'll use a cutting tool in order to take off the excess from the top so that the bottom edge will be flat. And removing the excess gum paste. And then the mold is very easy to bend. You'll bend and take out your mold and the basket leave. And there you have your first layer for your basket. Once you've worked your color into your gum paste, you can feel free to take your gloves off. We have one layer ready to go, another one in the mold. And then we've chosen a circle cookie cutter shape to start to build our basket. So I have four layers on already. You'll want to take some of the vegetable shortening again to coat the outside of your circle. Take your rope and line up the seams all together. You'll wrap it around the circle 
and the excess you'll cut off. With a cutting tool, and you'll firmly squeeze it together. You can use your tool to help it come together at the seam. And you'll take your remaining rope, match it up again with the seam, and squeeze together to hold it together. Now you've had your basket, you can make it as tall as you want. So once you have filled the height of your basket, you can add dab and hold an edible glue if you feel like your seams need to stick together a little bit more. So you can add a dab and then you'll want to slide your basket form off. So then for the handle you'll make one more length of your rope braid, wrap it around the cylinder, cut it in half, and then it'll have this rounded shape for the handle. You'll attach it on. You could squeeze it into the basket a little and use the dab and hold if you feel like you need some extra support. Okay, so now we're ready to make some of our homemade candies with the First Impressions Easter themed molds. We have the gum paste as well as the chocolate that we can use for these and there's a variety of molds that you'll find on the website as well. So we are using our leftover gum paste from the chocolate brown basket for the purpose of demonstration. And we have the meltable chocolates that we've already melted in the microwave and they're a soft consistency now that we can use for the molds. So you just take a, a little bit of the gum paste and you'll choose a mold to press into and you'll want to fit just enough of the gum paste so it doesn't go outside of the mold too much so that the back is flat. And then they just pop right out. You can choose a larger mold, the Easter egg mold, Push it firmly so that it gets all the detail of the mold. And then it's removed very easily. You can see the detail from the molds. Now, if you happen to put in a larger piece and you find that you have some excess, you could always just use your cutting tool to cut around and trim off any excess. Okay, then for the smaller molds as well, you'll just take your gum paste, press it firmly in to get all the detail of the mold. Use your tool if you feel like you need to cut anything away or to press down, and then they pop out very easily. Now you can also use the chocolate. You would just fill the mold with a little bit of a chocolate mixture and then you'll have to wait while those set up. So you can fill with the chocolate mixture as well. You can tap it down just to make sure that it gets in all of the edges, how it fills in like that. And then those will set up, they'll harden. So now we'll clear this away so that we can show how to use some of our colors for decorations. Okay, so now that our chocolates have hardened up and our gum paste is firm, we're ready to start our decorations. So now our chocolates have set up we can easily pop them out of the molds and you can see the fine detail. 
and we'll be ready to use our color for decorations. Before you put the chocolate into the mold, you can always add the color, with the candy colors. And with the gum paste, you can mix in like we had mixed in the brown, you can mix in whatever color you choose. So now we're ready to start decorating. You'll take your gum paste that has already set up and you'll choose your color. I'm choosing right now to use the crystal colors and it's just a powdery color. Tap some off and brush over your gum paste. Just give some nice color, a little sparkle, and you can do as much detail as you would like. As you can see here, the stripes with flowers are different colors. So there's a wide variety of colors that you can choose from. You can decorate uh, as little or as much as you choose. So the crystal colors are dry. You could use the applicator to brush on. A paintbrush works as well. These are chalk applicators. And for the liquid color, the pen nibs work really well for getting into small spaces. Put the color on to your egg with those. So as you can see, we have the finished product and you can see all of the detail. We've used the pen nibs for the food coloring and the chalk applicators for the dry crystal colors. You can see the detail on the chick and the bunny in the basket, the flowers, so you can put as little or as much detail as you want. Okay, now that you have finished painting and decorating, you can add to your basket. You can arrange your candies in any way in your basket, and you have made a great homemade gift. So we hope you enjoyed our first tutorial. Please let us know in the comment section below what you've created using First Impressions molds or what you would like to see us do in the future. Until our next tutorial, thanks so much for making your first impressions with us.